everybody. My name is Christian Slider, and welcome back to That's the Flavor, episode number 22, your weekly podcast where I sit down with my friends and talk about my life, hang out, have a good time. Sometimes it's stories from my life, like driving into a house, falling into a recycling bin. Other times it's just joking around, uh, talking about pufferfish exploding, uh, chip buddies, and turtle Jesus. That was last week's episode, if you're a little confused. Also, my phone is going off right now. Stop it. Stop it, phone. You go away. Um <laughs> But yeah, welcome. Today we are joined by Ozzy. So Ozzy, welcome to the show, and we'll check in a few here in a second. But before we get to that, I want to let you guys know about three big things. Well, one big, definitely immediate thing, and then two other things, you know, just keeping you guys updated in the loop. Number one, Christmas Day, December 25th. Look out for the That's the Flavor holiday special, where me and my co-host, Ozzy, are going to sit down and check in with the other guests from That's the Flavor, which... That is 14 other people. We're going to check in, hang out, have a good time, tell some holiday stories, and, you know, have a holiday-themed That's the Flavor episode. It'll also, if everything goes according to plan, be the first um, podcast of That's the Flavor with a video element. Um, so if you guys want to watch, and you know, there may be some visual gags. I may be wearing a Santa hat, maybe a sweater uh, with a shark on it, you know, just saying, giving you guys a little insight here, little hints. I'm just kinda, um, so that will be going up on uh, youtube.com um, and it'll be on the youtube channel christian slider you know you might know that guy he's the host of a podcast called that's the flavor uh, so that's mm-hmm. what it'll be going up i would say the link but because there aren't a ton of people subscribed to it i don't have access to a custom url so like the actual link would end up being youtube.com slash lowercase u capital w x y z capital l you guys know what i mean um, so yeah, that'll be going up on Christmas Day, both in audio and video form, to go ahead and give you guys a chance to check it all out, and hang out, have a good time, and give you guys more places to check out That's the Flavor content. I'm super excited for this, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. As I mentioned last episode as well, we have the hopefully coming before the end of the year pilot episode to a new That's the Flavor show, uh, name to be announced, and I'm going to kind of still keep it under wraps until it's there, but just know that that will be coming um, you know, in the future here, hopefully before the end of the year, if not early 2021. Now, stuff keeps getting pushed around as everybody realizes, wait a minute, it's December 16th. Um, no. So that's kind of how that is. Uh, and then the other thing is merch, t-shirts, stuff like that are also coming here very, very soon. So keep your wallets on the lookout for all that good stuff. And yeah, those are kind of the three big things. If you guys want to stay up to date on That's the Flavor stuff, make sure to follow the Twitter account at That's the Flavor. And without further ado, that's enough talkity talk talk. Let's get into the episode. So, Ozzy, episode number 22. Welcome back to the show. How are you? Ah, I'm good. I'm sweaty. I just shoveled. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. <laughs> what an introduction. <laughs> what, a... <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> Hey, yeah. I, I've been on here enough. I, I think it's good. I think it's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get too formal with them now. They're they're too used to you. Yeah, exactly. And next time, I'll just I'm gonna keep them complete. I'm gonna catch them completely off guard, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna sound like a completely different person. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a whole backstory and everything. Just you wait. Yeah, Ozzy, entertain the audience for a second. Oh, and the oh gosh. This is so, so much responsibility. But uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I guess I gotta, I gotta do my bit maybe a little sooner than I was anticipating. Um, well, actually, yeah. How about we do this? Sorry, an audience. Uh, I want to make a poll, <laughs> and I guess you could comment. Uh, I think you could comment on podcast. You think I would know that? Um, but like, what, what accent would people want to hear? Do we want to hear a Scotsman or? Uh, are we feeling a little British today? I don't know. I don't know. Just, just, just think about it. Decide, and then we'll see. And I am back. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Uh, you know, my mother <laughs> popped in the room, and I was like, "I need to hear. I need to actually hear what she's saying." So I was like, "Quick, Ozzy, go." I'm sorry I put you under that much pressure, but I feel like as an actor, you should be used to it. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm used to it. I'm. Curious to see if the audience will respond. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, uh, you know the the audience is kind of you know they're like they're like turtles. You know they only really respond when they truly want to. Or when Turtle Jesus is around. Hey, don't 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 speak his name. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, geez, wow. <laughs> kind of like summoning Cthulhu. You just you got to be careful using it. It's you know, it's it's that touchy. 
Not necessarily in the yeah. same vein, but it's kind of that much of a touchy thing. But, yeah, I was about to say, is that that serious? Like, end of the world yeah. serious? I mean, not necessarily end of the world, but definitely world altering, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, Ozzy, it is snowing right now for both you and me, and it's it's, it's snowing it's snowing pretty good. Oh, yeah, it is. And it's continually coming down, too. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know why, but because of all the snow, I, I keep thinking of, I believe the, the movie's called Jack Frost, where, where this kid's dad turns into a snowman. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm going to Google snowman dad movie <laughs> it's called jack frost i was right i was really uh, hoping you would say that it was called snowman dad movie <laughs> snowman dad movie <laughs> <laughs> um let's see it got it has a 4.5 a 5.4 out of 10 on imdb a 19 percent on rotten tomatoes but a three out of five from empire I don't know. That yeah. feels ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. budget eighty five million dollars. Box office thirty four point six million dollars. Ooh. Ooh. ooh, as to- as a touring musician clings to dreams of stardom, aging rocker Jack Frost, played by Michael Keaton, never had much time for his wife Gabby, who is played by Kelly Preston, and young son Charlie Joseph Cross. A year after Jack's tragic death in a car accident on Christmas Day, Charlie oh. plays a mournful tune on his father's harmonica. Much to his surprise, the elder Frost is magically brought back to life as a snowman on the family lawn. Given a second chance, Charlie and Jack struggle to make up for lost time. That was that's very morbid. That was not what I was anticipating. Jack Frost is a 1998 American dark fantasy drama film starring Michael Keaton and Kelly Preston. Keaton played the title character. A father killed in a car accident before coming back to life as a snowman. And here's this next sentence that really gets me. Three of Frank Zappa's four children, Dezweely Zappa, Met Zappa in Moon Unit Zappa appear in the film. There's a kid whose name is Moon Unit. Moon Unit? Moon Unit. I have more questions about this. Um, yeah. Oh, um, no. It's really unit. funny that you bring that up because I was talking to one of my coworkers just today and her friend literally named one of her kids Awesome. No. Can't do that. Yeah, their name is Awesome. Another one's Lemon, Rocky. I can't remember the fourth one. Hmm. Let's see, so first we gotta start off. I guess let's start with Frank Zappa, right? Frank. Yeah, that that seems pretty normal. The father, apparently, of Moon Unit. Frank Vincent Zappa was an American singer-songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, composer, and band leader. His work is characterized by nonconformity, free-form improvisation, sound experiments, musical virtuos- uh, virtuosity, virtuosity, and satire of American culture. He was a musician. Okay. 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 All right. And then we back up here, and we have one of his many, uh, four children... M- Who's Moon? Whose whose like name is Moon Zappa? But I guess Unit is her middle name, so it's Moon Unit Zappa. Or is it American actress and author? No, it's not. It's not hyphened. So that's why I think Unit's the middle name here. Yeah. Moon Unit. What what books have they written? Oh no, actor, not not author. Oh, it sounded like you said author. Third in. National Lampoon's European Vacation, Normal Life, Anarchy TV, Nightmares, The Spirit of 76. Hmm. Okay. So let's go for more recent things here, Internet. Yeah. Yeah. Has she had kids? Uh, She has had one whose name is Mathilda uh, Plum uh, Doucette. Mathilda Plum. Yeah, Mathilda Plum. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. I. This is this has already been a journey. This episode. This is enjoyable. Uh, wait, where? So, how old's Mathilda? 
Uh, 53, did you say? All right, does Mathilda have a kid? Oh, all right, all right, no, 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 Mathilda. I thought you were still talking about Moon Unit here. Hold on, let me, let me, let me look at Mathilda here. Because Moon Unit is, is 53 years old, which means Mathilda could possibly. Yeah, she could possibly be old enough to have uh, her own kid. Uh, no, no, she does not have her own. She does not have a, a kid. Okay. Well, how old is she? Uh, fifteen, apparently. Okay. Okay. She's got some time. Even though she looks older than fifteen, but I'll take Google's take Google's word for it. Yeah, we gotta trust in Google. For if we don't yeah. trust in Google, then what can we trust in this world? Right, exactly. I yeah. Mean, exactly. Yeah. Now, now that's a new religion, at yeah. You worship the Google gods. I mean, I feel like we already nonchalantly do that, and it's yeah, not a exactly. Religion, you know, like we already do it anyway. Just don't put a fancy like title on it, you know. Yeah, but see, I feel like that's what the second G in Google stands for is gods. Google gods. What does the first G stand for? Google. What is what does the first O stand for? Uh ominous. What does the second O stand for? Auspicious. No, that's an A. Um Oxymoron. Okay, okay. Uh what about the L? Um Lion. And the E. Uh extroverted. Okay, I believe you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you sound very confident there, like you knew everything you were talking about. Yeah, look look that one up, kids. That if yeah. you what is the meaning of Google? That that's what will pop up. And you'll see everything that Ozzy just said as an as as an answer. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. See, it's a misconception. Most people don't realize that Google is actually a type of poem that you wrote like wrote in high school. You know, like it's an anagram. Oh. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's what I get for for almost failing my junior or, or our junior year English class. <laughs> you you want to go in there? <laughs> Preferably, but I at least wanted to make the reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a story for another day. That's that's a that's um like um you know that's that's a a real episode. <laughs> That's that's a red. That, that, none of the past twenty one episodes aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh man, it's one that I can't just transition into like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it'd be pretty fitting. <laughs> you know what I haven't done yet. We of course you know, we're recording a podcast, but now I'm very curious. So we're gonna we're gonna put my, my college education live on air here. I haven't checked my final grades for the semester. No, yeah, I haven't checked mine so either. Speaking of all the school talk, I feel like it's a good thing to just put it here into the, into the world. If I pass for the semester or not, mind you, uh, if if all of my math was correct, now mind you, I'm a theater major, so if all my math was correct. <gasps> No way! Oh, that's awesome! I did way better than I thought I did! Yeah, that's always good. That's a note for another time. Um, that, that's, that's, that's another conversation, but might as well knock that one out, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> see, it sucks, right? Because I would love to, like, talk some holiday stuff right now, but obviously, you know, I want to save that for the holiday special. Yeah, so it's yeah. like can't we can't talk holiday now? It's not holiday time. Well, like you, you can, you could just no, like we can't, you, you can, can leave a hint of flavor. You know, what I mean. point. have I told have I told you how I really want to be the gingerbread um the gingerbread man in the Shrek musical? Yeah, I think you have. Yeah, yeah. I know, of course, we transition as well. Like, just really want to be the gingerbread man. But the thing is, the gingerbread man's played by the sugar plum fairy. I can do both. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the gumdrop buttons. Oh. I think it would be fun to play Pinocchio. 
Pinocchio would also be fun. Yeah. I just wish he had the, the infamous line in Shrek 2. See, okay, what do you think is better, Shrek 1 or Shrek 2? Shrek 2. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's one of the few in far movies that the sequel, I feel like... Like, you can't disregard the first one, like, because the first one establishes the, the world and the characters. So, like, right. it's good in its own right, but, like, if I want to watch Shrek, I will always watch Shrek 2 before I watch Shrek 1. That's fair. That's fair. So also, it also goes the same way for Toy Story, ironically enough. Like I will always yeah, I mean, I guess Toy there's Story. like I I want to go through and look at the actual list of like good sequels. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's always there's always the thing of like oh you know like a sequel blah, like sequels are always worse than the original blah, blah blah, which in most cases is true. Yeah. Yes, I do agree. Like, if I were to make a That's the Flavor 2, we already know it would be worse. I <laughs> See, I don't even know how you make a That's the Flavor 2. Well, I just start going through the rest of the episodes. So, like, we, it'd literally be like, That's the Flavor 2, and the first episode would be driving into a house, but it'd be done worse. <laughs> well, see, no, the thing is, like, the stories are different in the sequel. Like, it follows the same character. A good sequel, a really crappy sequel, just takes what made the original work and just put it into a loose new story. Yeah, all right. That's well, what I'm that's... saying. I'm saying that's the flavor too. Would be a crappy sequel. Yeah, I, yeah, I could see that work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I could see it work as being crappy. Well, see now that poses the question: How do we think that the Shark Boy and Lava Girl sequel is going to be on Netflix? I think they waited too long. I think they did too, and Taylor Lautner's not in it. Exactly. And I just think it's one of those things where it's like, I'm on you, I say that, but like Incredibles 2 took 16 years to make, and it's still a really, yeah. really, really fun movie. But like, still, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I see, Incredibles 2 is one of those few and far between that like, I think it's good in its own right and i think it does expand from the first movie but i don't know if i would like that's a series that like i will be in a distinct mood if i want to watch incredibles one or two kind of thing yeah yeah because it's also very similar to like all of the marvel movies like because i think all of their sequels obviously add except maybe iron man 2 um we can disregard that one but like There'll be times when I'm in the mood to watch like Captain America one, and then oh, you know, I'm feeling I'm feeling Civil War today, and even the same way with Thor. Like, even though the first yeah. two like aren't the best, you know, I still like them. So like, I'll go back and I'll watch them, and then sometimes I'll just watch Thor Ragnarok because I want to watch Thor Ragnarok. Exactly. Ah, it's kind of interesting because like, I don't think there's like a perfect, a uh, yeah, perfect perfect uh algorithm to make like the best sequel because it really depends on the franchise you know what i mean Uh, yeah no i think it really depends you know you know what most people argue is is a perfect sequel and the greatest movie of all time spider-man huh spider-man spider-man yep yeah i yeah i remember you saying that what are the reasons again? I don't know because I I hate it, right? <laughs> but audience, buckle in. We're getting nerdy. We're getting into a Spider-Man argument. Oh no! Spider-Man Two of, is not the best superhero movie of all time, and it is definitely not the best Spider-Man movie. Yeah, no. I've said it. There you go. No dodging around the question. No dodging around the fact. I think that any more, because you look at the way superhero movies have progressed now, and where we are now in that genre, and Spider-Man 2 is just really campy. Oh yeah, no doubt. It's like, it doesn't it just doesn't hit anymore. You know, it's like, it used to hit before I have things to look at, like Infinity War. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. So it don't hit the same. And even yeah. argue that that homecoming 
uh, like Spider-Man Homecoming, of course, hits me, uh, it hits me in the feels more than Spider-Man 2 does. Well, see, I think it does, just for the simple fact of how Homecoming's written. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like the reasons for like people liking Spider Man two so much, it's like oh, because you get to really see like Peter Parker as like a human and a normal guy, and like see him be like content basically with like the fact that like he's just a, some normal dude. Like, and it's just I don't know. I, it, the, because most people's argument is like Spider Man two is both a, a good movie and also like a good superhero movie. <laughs> Well, see, yeah, like, I could see the argument for being, like, for it being, like, a good movie, and it's a, it's an okay, super movie, and, like, superhero no, movie, Ralph. and it's back, like, but I, I just think nowadays it's so outdated, like you yeah. said, because, like, when you have, you have all of these now newer superhero movies, even the newer versions of Spider-Man, I just think they have a lot more to offer, and like it just dives more into both both superhero and person. Yeah, yeah. But I I don't know how how they can say that Spider-Man Two is the best superhero movie overall, just because, um, just because of everything that's come out. Like, maybe you... I think the argument could stand that it was the best superhero movie of its time for a while. But yeah. ever since the Marvel Cinematic Universe, like, really took off, then I think that argument can't be made. Oh, I definitely agree. Because if you're going to even say, like, overall superhero movies, like, then you also need to take into account, like, the stuff that happens in Iron Man movies and... Um, Thor's movies and Cap's movies, the Avengers, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, like all of them. Yeah. So, so of course, you know, I, I'm here. I am recording the podcast, and 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 Ralph is just kind of staring at me. <laughs> we'll see. What's his favorite superhero movie? I don't know, Ralph. What's your, Ralph, buddy? Favorite superhero movie? It's important, Ralph. Ralph. What's your favorite superhero movie? No, no answer. Hmm. Does that mean he's he's siding with Spider Man too? Better not be. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're just gonna hear your door shut and Ralph's gonna be outside. No, no, no. It's, it's snowy. Well, yeah, no, I meant like outside your room. Oh, I meant outside, outside. I was like, nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. No, no, no. That that's just mean. You could just prove your point yeah. by going outside. So I think I've learned the other day that it's that it's actually pretty difficult to make a gingerbread house. Oh yeah. Like people I think undersell how easy it is. Yeah. Well see, did you do it from scratch or did you get like one of those kits? See, I didn't do it at all. I just watched somebody else do it and was like, that seems pretty hard. <laughs> was it in a video or was it uh, in person? It was in it was in a video, and I mean over video, just it looked real rough. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, was this like a professional? Uh no. No, it's just some um, random person. Yeah, but what that translates to me is that like I don't know that like I means that a, a normal person can't do it. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, uh, look at the amount of like regular people <laughs> do it. I feel really bad just saying regular people, <laughs> but Ozzy, hear, hear me out. What if, what if we get gingerbread house kits and we we make gingerbread houses on the on the holiday special? I'm not opposed. <laughs> I'm, I'm also as, not opposed. As we have our conversations, it's just us. Yeah. As we as we have the guests on, it's just you and me really focused making gingerbread houses, and then the guest comes in. And it's like, uh, uh. So you brought your gingerbread house, right? What? You you got Where's the pamphlet, your gingerbread right? house. You, you got, got the, the pamphlet, email, right? didn't you? Yeah. Be like, no, I didn't get no email. Get out of here! You can't get be out on of here. here. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, 
<laughs> you just see the people leave and be like, wow, well, this is a really interesting holiday special. And then <laughs> there's like the one um, guest who already made a gingerbread house and like just comes and shows it. And the next thing you know, I just flip mine and leave. And then you just start crying and be like, no, what? This is just it. <laughs> I think I'm going to build my gingerbread house and then try to dunk it in through Ooh. a basketball. Oh, I like it. I like it. Now, the internet I set up to do the podcast in my kitchen, and so I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to think of on that one. Yeah. Well, see, I think what I'd want to do is I'd want to put my pups in it, and then it would kind of just, like, then if it, if it looks bad, then I can just blame it that, like, the pups did it, and then it can be Dogzilla. Rawr. Yeah, exactly. Rampaging. Yeah, going through the the gingerbread town of uh, um, Dreary Lane. Keep it going. Keep 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 it going. I feel like there's something here. You're still, uh, you're still, come on, you're slowly crafting something. I don't want you to lose this momentum. Uh, G- Dreary Lane in uh, Gumdrop Drive and yep. Frosting Avenue. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All to create the town of um ginger bread. The town of gingerbread. <laughs> no, you got to add the ta- you have to add the space in it. <laughs> oh, okay. So it has to be ginger bread. Ah, uh, got you. Got you. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Just how it, it kind of took took light in this space. I think that, like, like we, there's a chance that we could be gophers. <laughs> I'll never get over the transition. So, and I've, I've been thinking about this one, right? Like, I feel like the science is there, whether people are ready to accept it or not. You know? What, that would be gophers? Well, there's a chance we could become gophers. Oh, why just stop at gophers? I don't know, man. Why, why, why ever begin at all? Mm, I guess you're, you're. That's right. That'd exactly. Be, that'd be kind of cool to be a gopher. Oh, most definitely. Hey there, audience. It's me, Future Christian, here to tell you that there was a big audio mix-up. You'll hear past Christian talk about it here when the episode comes back. So we were talking about gopher armies and stuff, and we didn't realize that the recording software had stopped recording. And so we're picking up right there, right now. Uh, Yeah. So go ahead, hop back into That's the Flavor, and enjoy episode number 22. Thank you guys so much. Greg! 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 Greg, stay with me, bud. (laughs) <laughs> all right. I should have that other chunk of podcast audio and I'll, I'll mess with it and look at it worst comes to worst I may just need to sit down and record another episode but we'll keep going audience for a little bit of inside ball on podcasting we had my our recording bot for the podcast Craig shout out on us and dip out so we're, we've been doing weird things life is weird I mean then again there's a big snowstorm and stuff going on even though it's a stable connection that's a little bit of inside baseball you know yeah well, we're just happy Craig could join with us again. Yeah, Craig, thank you for coming back. Appreciate it. <laughs> the silent type. He's a silent type. Yeah, but you know he's there. Yeah, as we were talking, like, go for army, stuff like that. I like to think towards towards the uh, Rick and Morty episode, the squirrels. Oh. <laughs> where, where Morty can all of a sudden hear the squirrels, and it's like, they're, like, talking about, like, First conversation, it's like, yeah, so we have we have our asset ready to infiltrate in, in Cuba and in, in Venezuela and stuff, and it's that's what I like to think about, you know, just gophers. Yeah, I can see that. I also just whenever you said Rick and Morty, I just instantly thought of the snake episode, and it was just gophers instead. <laughs> and then <laughs> Morty killed the one snake, <laughs> and then they ship a, a, a instead of a snake, he killed a gopher. And then they just <laughs> send a gopher from Earth onto it, and then it has an affair. <laughs> right, right. Uh, That's exactly what I think of. Yeah. See, I'm glad, now, I'm, glad, I'm glad I have these conversations with you, you know? Yeah, 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 I do too. You know, I don't know who would ever have them with. Ah, 
minute week, but without, without, um, I was going to say without me, like, what would you do? But, like, I know what you'd do. You'd go find another me. No, I don't know. I don't think there's any replacing you. <laughs> See, I, I like to think that, like, I need to be careful here, and I should be uploading my uh, consciousness, like, into, in, into like, a server. You know what I mean? Go like, oh, hold no. an eye on it. And I, I say that because, like, I don't I want to make no, sure. Like, I don't I'm want no forever. Baron Zemo. Yeah. yeah. See, exactly. I think this is what we're doing, Ozzy. I think this is what you and me got to start working on. One of us needs to start going to school for like the the engineering stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to for computery stuff, and we're gonna take our two things and just shove them together. Oh Lord! Yeah, we'll we'll make it work. I feel like that that would just be an AI unit that would have like the devil and the angel, and depending yes. on the subject, it's like. It will depend on what side either of us will be. So we'll both have our, our devil complexes and both of our angel complexes. Yes. Uh, very much so. That would question. Be so. So here's my question for you, right? Wild. Yeah, lay it on me. If you had to be an animal then to take over an, an, an animal like kingdom or like to, if you had to have a group, you know, if you had to be an animal that could then take over the world, like what, what's your go-to animal here? What do you think? Oh, raccoon. Think? Yeah, you're you're gonna stick with your raccoon. Oh yeah, I'm always gonna stick with my raccoon just because. Oh, right. One, I think raccoons have a lot more to offer than most people think. Like everyone's like, "Oh, who the hell wants a raccoon? They're nasty. They just they eat trash and and they're mean." I'm like, "But no, like, have you seen the ones that are super cute? But like, what if it's all a ploy? And so what you do is you easily can take over a civilization by showing your cute side, like letting them dress you up. Then you get free clothes, you get free food. And then one day you're just like, no, I'm over this. And then you just, you just attack, just kind of go crazy. Right. And then and who, who doesn't like the name? Crash Panda. Craig, what did you do to welfare fish? <laughs> um, hey, audience. It's me again. <laughs> um, so I, I, we're having some more technical difficulties, it looks like. Um, wait, he's back. <laughs> Good, Jen. I, I'm back. Okay, okay. We got him. Yep. <laughs> you know, this, I guess this is a, <laughs> this is a lesson, uh, this is the moral of the story, kids. Don't don't film a podcast in the middle of the snowstorm. Then the know. connection's a little unstable. Looks like Discord is not detecting any input from your microphone. And then it's just appeared. Dude, everything is hating on me today. This Jeez. Is... There we go. Everything should be fixed and working and great. This will be an interesting episode, needless to say. I suck edit is what it's going to be. <laughs> um, so... Are you sticking with the gopher then? I think I I, I think so. For this current moment, I'm cause, you know I'm I'm very heavy into the gopher mindset. You're not really going to get me to pivot on that right now. Okay, I think okay. down, down the line it might change. Also, Ralphie, why are you whining? He wants love. He's he's literally sitting on my bed right next to me. Yeah. He found love in a Christian place. He found yeah. love in a Christian place. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They just they always want your attention whenever whenever you you're doing something and then when you need to take a step back and you're like, Hey, I can share you attention, then they're like, nah, we don't want you. That's how it always works. So, right now, trending on Twitter is the statement, Welcome Home Theseus. Welcome Home Theseus? Like, Midsummer or? Well, that's the name. I don't know if it relates to that. Let's, let's dig deeper here on Twitter. Let's find out. Um... Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh no, apparently it's a Minecraft thing. Oh. Interesting. Is it like a mod? A modder? Uh, it was it was some statement that was said during a live stream, and now all of Twitter's just spamming it over and over again. Oh, oh! I wonder if it was like a wolf that they befriended. TCS. So you're like, welcome home, TCS. Ralphie, why are you, Ralph? Wait, let's talk about this. <laughs> I... <laughs> Can that be your next guest? Is Ralph? Me and Ralph would have a great, a great show. Ralphie, what's the matter, buddies? Oh, you just want long give me kisses? Is that what it is? Yes, that's a good boy. That's that's usually how it is. Everyone loves you. You're more, Ralph. I have T-shirt designs for you that you're gonna like, that that you'll be on. <laughs> Yeah, from all the way back in episode nine with Brady. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... yeah. I know, I know. He he's upset because both my parents left to go to the store. Why they decided to go to the store in a snowstorm, I have no idea, but that's 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 you know. Hey yeah. my heart goes out to them. Yeah. They'll be they'll be they'll be okay, maybe. I hope I, I mean they should be they'll be fine. They're my dad's truck. Believe in them. Yeah, they got that all-wheel drive. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. How many? How many drives do you think all wheels can actually make? You know what I mean? I think. How many all wheels can a drive make? Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. just answer the answer the question. It's a, it's a dumb question. Roll with me on this one. I think it's more than four. Yeah, yeah, more more than four. That then the rest is up for you to interpret. So it could it could be five. It could be two hundred and forty five. It could be uh seven hundred and eighty five. It it could be nine 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 nine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Or who knows? I could be wrong. Maybe it's three. I don't know. Ow. Me too. Me too. No, I, I was. So I was messing with. The, there was this little, um, like you know, a little latch to open up the drawer to, to my desk. And I had my finger inside the little latch. I was playing with it, and I like slammed it, and I was like, ah, finger was still in there. Ah, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't break yourself. Well, I think it was more the finger wanted to break itself, you know. It was oh, more yeah, yeah. I had gotten to that point in life and was like, it's it's time. Yeah, I was like, thanks. finger, no, I still need you for at least another fifty years. At least. Uh, at least, you know, I think I'm gonna make it to like at least seven. That's years. only sixty-one. Fifty years? No. You another said... fifty years? I'd be seventy-one. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be 71. Yeah. I'm bad at math. Alfie, what is the matter? Careful standing up there, buddy. He just what? wants love. What? 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 Ralph, you're knocking my headset down. Ralph. <laughs> I shall destroy what? until you give me why what bumpers? Yeah, any you got anything to say? Or you just ow, ow, that's my wrist. Stop biting. Nope. Okay, good boy. That's a good boy. Nope, nope. Now you're biting again. Nope. Give my wrist back. Stop biting. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh, my parents are home, but it's just because my dad forgot his wallet. All right. Noted. <laughs> Great. Great. Also, that was rough response to everything you've asked, and the day was that one bark that he gave. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. So he, he said, uh, 
he said that uh, Spider Man Far From Home was his favorite movie. Yeah. Okay. That that's that's acceptable. Oh, I forget what I was gonna say. Ain't that a mood of life? I mean, like, what was that mm-hmm. about? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, si, senor. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Man, this podcast is going places. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is going places. You know, what What if we really talked about this episode? We, we we rambled on about movie sequels. Talked about Jack Frost. Ralph, mainly. We we talked about Ralph a good amount. Don't forget uh, about Gophers. Me. Gophers was a big one. Moon Unit. Moon Unit. Oh, Moon Unit. Right, right. Not going to yeah. lie. I have been kind of spacey this episode, which is it's great because it's my podcast. Yeah, no, I I understand. I've been kind of like, huh. How many wheel, uh, how many drives can all wheels make? I think that's the title of the episode. (laughs) 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 Because seriously, when you sit down and think about it, how many drives can all wheels make, you know? Uh, more than four. <laughs> I stand by my answer. You know, so I didn't know this until like last year. You know that technically all cars have two wheel drive. Really? Well, yeah. Wait, hang on, hold on, hold on. I think I may have just hang on. Do all cars have two wheel <laughs> drive? <laughs> Most passenger vehicles on the road today come standard with two-wheel drive, which means that the engine powers two of the vehicle's wheels and the other, and the other two are allowed to spin. Okay, I was right. Whew. Yeah, okay, that may, yeah. Couldn't have another Hayden Christensen, uh, Christian makes a wrong statement moment, like last week's episode. Like, I, I, was, I realized I was setting myself up for failure, and I, and I wasn't okay with that. <laughs> you gotta check your facts. Gotta, gotta check the car facts. <laughs> Show me the car facts. Uh, you, no, you show me the car facts, and we go from there. <laughs> On that note, this episode of oh, That's the Flavor is sponsored by Car Facts. This episode of Car Facts is sponsored by That's the Flavor. Ooh, I wonder what Car Facts taste like. Do they taste like car? Do they taste like facts? Or do they taste like they a little taste bit like, of like like stickers? Like stickers? But isn't it just like a sheet of paper? Yeah, but I think to go ahead and give it the image of the car, you gotta and, and the facts, you gotta kind of mix both of them. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. So it's got that like stickery paper taste. My favorite stickery taste. paper. Dude, like, have you ate a sticker recently? Uh, I don't think since I was uh in my teen years. Mm, okay. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. It, have you recently? Yes. Was it intentional? Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was the sticker on an apple. <laughs> um, but but I've always been told that they're edible. So I was like, all right. Well, you, you you just eat it like you don't even take it off. It's like half the time falling off anyway. <laughs> I mean, like I. Look, it's one of those things where, as far as I've been told, they're edible, and I wanted to put the theory to a, te- the, 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 a, a, a test, the test, and I'm still standing. Are the 
stickers on apples edible. The thing is, isn't everything technically edible if you can do it <sighs> Come and on, eat Google. it? Don't fail me now. <laughs> All right. The stickers aren't supposed to be edible, and they're definitely not nutritious, but they're unlikely to cause any bodily damage. That's fine for something like an apple, which you'd peel off and discard the sticker and maybe discard before eating, com composting only the core. Oh, the, the article did a jump. So, so they aren't supposed to be edible, but it doesn't explicitly say no. <laughs> But then, but, and then coming in from Snopes.com, price lookup stickers on vegetables and fruits are edible. Wait, where's that from? Uh, Snopes.com. First yeah. one was from ModernFarmer.com. See, now the thing is, can you trust Snopes.com? Snopes? I, I don't know. It, it, um, it, it looks pretty trustworthy. Okay, okay. I, I believe you. Well, see, but then how how do the isn't there edible stickers that like they put on like baked goods and stuff? Is there? Yeah, because then how do they make those? Like, oh, huh. like you know the images on cakes and stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure those are like stickers, but you can eat those. That's true. That's true. So, like, what's made into those that make them so edible? Right. Right. And it's like I, I asked earlier, I don't know if you heard, but like, is it technically everything edible? I mean, technically schmacknickly, you know? Like, there's a pair of socks here on my desk, like, I could eat them, meaning they're edible. That's true. That's true, you could. I wouldn't advise it, but you could. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to. But like I just said, I could. Yeah. And on that note, we're going to bring this episode of That's the Flavor to a close. <laughs> episode number 22. Thank you guys all for coming here, hanging out. We got we got Ralph barking in the background. Ozzy's got to get to his sock eating. You guys know how it is. Um, Yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the episode, stay tuned for the holiday special on the 25th. Um, stay tuned for new pilot podcast, new uh, merch, and everything like that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out, as always. I got a couple things in the works to make sure we're going to hit episode 25 before the end of the year, but most comes most likely we may not, and that's okay. Other than that, we're just going to go ahead and keep vibing, hanging out. I've been Christian Slider. Ozzy, thank you so much for coming on That's the Flavor again. You, I know that you have a time like you enjoy coming on, and I have such a good time when you're on the show. So yeah, I hope pleasure. this episode was just as great as the rest. Oh, yeah, you know it. it I never know where we're going to go. And that's that's part of the journey. Never know. Never <laughs> know. And today was definitely a spacey episode, but a good one nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for coming on, Ozzy. Audience, thank you so much for listening. I've been Christian Slider. This has been That's the Flavor. And until next time, stay flavorful.